auto go at escape velocity, we have this, all the same conditions. That is that um, out at r is infinity. We have a velocity equal to zero and a gravitational field strength equal to zero or a gravitational potential energy is equal to zero all the way out at infinity. So we've, we've established that already. But uh, as I said, this one's a little bit more mathy. Okay? We know from Newton's second law uh, that net force is equal to ma. Okay? Well, since we're only dealing with the gravitational force of the planet, then what we're saying is that force of gravity is equal to ma. No problem there. That's pretty consistent with anything we've ever done before. All right, let's flip it around just for uh, to neaten things up a little bit. We say ma is equal to the force of gravity. Now, substituting for acceleration, we're going to say that m times dv dt is equal to the force of gravity, which is g big M little m over r naught squared. Okay. And what is what is r naught there? Well, you know what? Let's not. Let's just say r squared because we're going to integrate and have limits of integration. Okay. So now, nice and neat. Masses cancel out real quickly, so we don't have to carry them throughout the entire operation. So now what we're going to do is a little bit of chain rule action. So we're going to say dv dt is equal to dv dr dr dt. That's equal to gm ah, over r squared. Okay? All right? So now the purpose of that is to set up a differential equation that we can integrate. All right? So dr dt, right? r is just our displacement. So dr dt is just velocity. So what we're saying is dv dr times velocity is equal to gm over r squared. It's a good thing we got a velocity term in there because that's what we're trying to figure out. All right. So now what we got to do is we're going to take and we're going to say that d, or sorry, v dv is equal to gm r squared, getting this dr over here. Right now we're going to integrate each side. We're going to say that the integral of v dv is equal to the integral of gm over r squared dr. All right. Sorry that I did this to you, but what we have to recognize is this is negative. Okay. As we have an increase in r, we have a um, we have a gravity gravitational force that works this way. All right. So I'm going to put that negative sign in there carry that all the way down, otherwise I'm going to make a mess of it later, okay? So there's the negative there, all right? That's why that's negative, because the force and the displacement R are in opposite directions. All right, the integral of V dV is one half, uh, you know what, let's go back and look at our limits of integration, all right? We are going to go from infinity, uh, where our velocity is zero, to v naught, which is what we're going to call, that's, that's, that's the term we're going to give, or the expression used for escape velocity. All right, that's our escape velocity, and then our velocity all the way out in infinity is zero. Okay, so we're integrating from, so what is r at infinity? We're just going to call it b, where b approaches infinity. So as we move from where velocity is zero, so where velocity is escape velocity, what happens to r? We go from b to r naught. Okay, that is wherever we are, uh, where the escape velocity is relative to the center of mass. Okay, so now going through there, we have now we have our limits of integration. We have the integral of v dv is one half v squared, and we're going to evaluate that from zero to v naught. Going to Make that equal to the integral of this right here is going to be, remember this was negative, and the integral of this is negative as well. So we get negative gm over r. Okay? I'm going to move this up here. All right, so that makes that positive, doesn't it? All right, so what we're going to have, and I'm sorry, we're going to evaluate that from b to where b is approaching infinity to r naught back to Earth's surface. All right, so this means one-half 
v naught squared minus one half zero squared. Not that I really needed to do that. You guys know that that's zero. Okay, is going to be equal to uh, g m over r naught minus g m over b, where again, as b approaches infinity, this term right here approaches zero. Okay. Moving along, as you can see that this we're already where we need to be without all that stuff we did in the previous version. So now we have one half v naught squared is equal to g m over r naught, and solving for v naught, our escape velocity, we get exactly the same result we had before. V naught is equal to two g m over r naught, where g is equal to the universal gravitational constant, m is the mass of Earth or whatever it is that we're escaping, and r naught is where we start. In this case, we're starting at Earth's surface. So we get exactly the same result as we did before. Escape velocity.